what's up welcome back to another brand new episode of the savant life and uh, i don't know about you guys but i'm certainly still buzzing from all of the excitement at the auto expo 2018 and in this video i'm going to be talking about some of the bikes that i personally found to be the most exciting now keep in mind these are not the biggest bikes the most expensive bikes or even the baddest bikes on the road these are just the kind of bikes that caught my attention caught my fancy and I thought that I will talk just a little bit more about them on this particular video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get things started right here, right now. Alright, so without any further ado, let's just get into the thick of the action. And right off the top, how can you not talk about the absolute bomb drop by Aprilia as they... I was about to say launch, but they did not launch. However, they showcased two incredibly stunning bikes, the Aprilia RS150 and the Aprilia 20150. Now, I'm sure most of you would know that both of these bikes are the smaller versions of the flagship offerings of Aprilia around the globe. And both of these bikes look absolutely stunning, especially the Aprilia RS150 had my heart racing. It's fit, finish, paint quality, the look and feel of the bike, everything is incredible. It's premium, it's top notch, and I'm in fact running out of superlatives to describe how incredibly impressed I am with this bike. The Tuono, of course, is the naked version of the very same bike, and uh, both of these machines are capable of producing 18 bhp of power and 14 newton meters of torque. In addition, they come loaded with ABS and a whole bunch of other features, especially the RS150, which has an optional quick shifter. Yes, a quick shifter on a 150cc bike. Now, these machines are expected to make their entry into India towards late 2018 through the CKD route. And if that indeed happens, the pricing of these bikes is expected to be between 1.5 to 1.7 lakhs. And uh, they will compete against the likes of the CBR150, the KTM RC200, and of course, the legendary Yamaha R15. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and talk about Yamaha, my favorite bike manufacturer all the way from Japan and what they were up to over the last week. As expected, Yamaha finally launched version 3.0 of the Yamaha R15. Yes, that legendary bike which absolutely revolutionized that segment in India all of those years ago. Version 3.0 looks incredible and it was well worth the wait. Although it doesn't get a lot of features from the international version, make no mistake about it, this bike is still a premium entry-level bike from Yamaha. R15 3.0 comes in two colors, the racing blue and uh, the gray and red combination, which of course is my personal favorite between the two options available. Uh, the bike doesn't get ABS and uh, that is really a shame. They could have at least offered that as an option with a much higher priced variant. However, Yamaha has not gone ahead and done that. But I think overall, this bike is incredible and especially at only 7,000 rupees more than the previous generation, this bike is an absolute steal. On the other hand, Yamaha also launched the R3 2018 version, which is now BS4 compliant and also comes with dual channel ABS. That one feature that was preventing that bike from being top of the line in its segment. Now, of course, Yamaha can say that their R3 lives up to the standards set by the R series, whether it's the R6 or the R1. As expected, the bike is a little pricey at about 3.48 lakhs X showroom. And uh, it comes in two colors, the racing blue and the magma black. Everything seems perfect and you would think that this bike would be on the top of the list of anyone who is looking to get themselves a serious sports bike. But hold on because there is a little bit of a twist in the tail. The magma black color that they have is an absolute eyesore. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go as far as that, but I'm incredibly disappointed by this color because the previous generation black, the glossy black that they had looked spectacular and you could do so much with it. You could modify the bike, you could make it look like the 2016-17 R1. However, the magma black is more of a dull gray with a matte finish and I just don't think it goes well with the look and feel of the bike. Moreover, the stickering looks like something that you got done in the aftermarket at JC Road or someplace like that. And uh, all I have to say is why Yamaha, why? Why does there always have to be a catch? Just bring the glossy black back, please. Pretty please. Now, speaking of people who've made a habit of disappointing you, let's go ahead and talk about Honda. Yes, they launched the 2018 new version of the Honda CBR250 and surprise, surprise, it was incredibly disappointing. Make no mistake about it, the CBR250 is a great bike, 
but it is old, it is aged, and it is dated big time. And a lot of people were expecting Honda to bring in the Honda CBR 250RR or launch a 300cc bike, but none of that happened. All they did was give you a new color and some new stick ring, a BS4 compliant engine, and an all LED headlight. That is all you get because it seems like Honda is more than content selling scooters in India and laughing their way all the way to the bank. If you're a motorcycling enthusiast, tough luck. But don't you worry because it's not all doom and gloom. There is some good news because Hero is actually working on the concept of the X-Pulse 200. For those of you who are from the community, you might remember that the Impulse became a bit of a cult bike, especially amongst off-roading enthusiasts. And when Hero decided to discontinue this bike a while back, it broke a lot of hearts. In fact, a lot of Impulse owners were fitting the Charisma engine onto their bikes in order to make them more powerful. Well, you don't have to do such things anymore because Hero is finally heeded to your prayers and they're working on the X-Pulse 200, which is supposed to be a much bigger, a much more powerful and a badder version of the bike. Uh, the X-Pulse 200 is supposed to be making 18 bhp of power with 17 Newton meters of torque. It has an absolute staggering ground clearance of 220 millimeters and uh, there's plenty of space for your luggage at the back as well. So when this bike finally hits the market in late 2018, you can set off into the country roads and explore our beautiful nation to your heart's content. Also, if sources are to be believed, Hero is looking to price this bike very, very aggressively, somewhere between the 1 to 1.1 lakh range. And if they manage to do that, that is going to be great news for everybody, except for probably Royal Enfield. The Himalayan, I think, will take a little bit of a hit. I personally believe that in a country like ours, you don't really need a 500cc machine to go touring and off-roading. Something like the X-Pulse 200, especially if it has the build quality of its predecessor, can get the job done just fine. Now moving along to another adventure tourer, this one is from BMW made in collaboration with TVS. This bike is produced in India locally and exported to many countries in the world and finally it is going to be launched in the Indian market as well sometime towards the second half of 2018. If you haven't guessed it already, I'm talking about the BMW G310S. The bike looks incredible. I love that grey and red combination and uh, if you are into touring, I would recommend this bike over any other bike out there in the market right now. Even though I've not even had a chance to test ride it myself, the bike can produce 34 bhp of power and 28 newton meters of torque. However, all of this is going to come at a bit of a premium price tag and uh, the X showroom price is going to be somewhere in the range of about 2.9 to 3 lakhs. But hey, the BMW quality and the badge does not come cheap. And finally, I have to say, here's a bike which took my breath away in every sense of the word and the surprise, surprise, or maybe I shouldn't really be surprised considering how this particular bike manufacturer has been going off late. TVS has hit this one completely out of the park with its concept bike, a power cruiser called the TVS Zeppelin. Now, TVS is being very, very secretive about whether they would actually take this bike into production sometime down the road or not, but uh, this bike looks incredible. It has this beautiful modern feel. It also has the typical stylings of a cruiser. It is packed with so many features I can barely even begin to tell you. It has an integrated starter motor. It has a biometric key which means that you can unlock and start your bike just by using your pretty face and also it has an integrated HD camera so that you can capture all of your exciting rides without having to use a GoPro. Now whether this bike goes into production or not remains to be seen but I for one certainly hope it does and TVS continues pushing itself out of its comfort zone and keeps producing more such fantastic breathtaking machines. And just like that we've come to the end of another episode of the Savant Life. I really hope that you enjoyed this look back at some of the most exciting bikes that this year's India Auto Expo had to offer. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and uh, drop them in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you think that your friends, your classmates, your family members or even your watchmen might enjoy this video, then go ahead and share it with them. It would really help me out. Also, if this is your first time around with The Savant Life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it only takes a second. And while you're at it, also click on the bell icon so that you can be notified when I put out more new videos. I will see you in the next one, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care, ride safe, be good, and as always, have fun.